Hey there. Got a Gottlieb Pro Football here that I'm going through. It does not work, so I thought it can be fun to show the steps of what I need to do to get this game up and running. So, fairly good shape. I just turned it on. And it's kind of sporadic. If I hit the start button, sometimes it will go, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, the score reels don't reset when I did, so um, I did put two credits on the machine. See you right there, so I'm going to hit start and see what happens here. So, got some stuff going on here. I got the GIs just kicked on. Uh, score reels did not reset and don't have any power on the flippers or anything. Uh, this game's a little bit unique. There is no out hole, out hole for the ball to come in and no shooter lane here. So as the light says here, you got to press the right button to shoot the ball out at the start. So first thing I want to do is kind of figure out, uh, open it up, see if the start re relay is getting engaged. Uh, if that's not getting re uh, started, then I got to maybe go back a little bit further and kind of see, but definitely score motor turned when I hit the start button, so that's a good sign. Uh, we'll kind of go from there. Here I opened it up. Start relay is right here. You can see the S. So I'm going to hit start button, see if that is being pulled in. So that is being pulled in. Uh, next thing I'll probably look, I did see the score motor spin here. Start relay did engage. Uh, this guy over here should begin called to reset the scores. So right now, I got some scores up. If I hit this, uh, you can see the scores are here. The scores just reset. Uh, come up top here. Uh, this is the ball. And we are playing a game now. So scores reset. I got the flippers. I got lights. And one thing I noticed is the pump bumpers aren't working along with uh, the football one points aren't working when I just manually press things, but it seemed like everything else was working. So dig a little bit deeper, but kind of the main thing is start relay starting, which is what I need. I need to see why AB is not re um, pulling in to reset the score. So that might be where I go next. Also, if I come back to the back of the machine here, um, I notice this ball unit uh, sticks every now and then. So I'm going to go ahead, clean this up, make sure it's uh, moving nice and smooth. So right now, if I advance, you can see it's really kind of sticking there. Not quite lined up on the rivet. So now I would be on ball two. Boy, it's really sticking. Ball three, four, ball five up here. And one more would be end of game. So this is definitely a problem here. So I'm going to clean that up. Uh, top one here resets it. Uh, it resets nicely there. But I'm going to clean this up, make sure this is um, advancing the way it should be. So those are the next two things I'm going to look at. The A-B relay, along with cleaning up this stepper unit. I went ahead, cleaned this up, and... One of these was disconnected, so always kind of pull on these, double check. But this little loop was disconnected, so I just soldered it uh, back on here. And now when I advance this, moves and reset, and should be good now on this. Uh, I'm going to check the AB uh, relay next. There's three switches. Uh, two on the score motor and the start relay. I know the start relay was being activated but I need to double check that switch along with those two uh, motor switch and see why that AB relay is not being called when the start relay engages. So that's the next thing I'm gonna check here. Oh, I'm troubleshooting the circuit. I got my multimeter here set to ohm settings. I know people don't like this. I like this. I can test it with the game off. Some people prefer the alligator clip method, which is fine, but uh, I'm looking for a reading of 2 ohms or less. Um, don't use continuity. Um, it will beep, I think, on mine if it's 20 ohms or, or less. So I'm on the ohm setting, and I'm connected to the coil lug here on the AB relay. 
and that is, I'm trying to find it here on the schematic, that's orange blue. It's going through the start relay here, and then it's coming to the score motor uh, switch 3C. Uh, C, I kind of think of, you know, C level, it's base. It's on the same level as the disc, so it's right here. This one was real easy to get grab, so I skipped um, the start one to start the start relay to start this process. And now I'm going to engage the start relay. You can't see it, but my meter is not moving. I'm engaging the start relay. Uh, what I should see is less than two ohms. So I need to backtrack a little bit and check the start relay and see where I'm losing my uh, connection at. So I'm going to pull the start relay here and look at that. Here I'm going from the orange blue and you can see I got a good reading. It's less than two ohms on mine. I'm going from the orange blue or blue or orange, I don't remember, all the way to the start relay here and you can see it right here. And so this is good. Now what I'm going to do is jump to the other side which is this green color and make sure I have a good um, continuity when I close this or activate this relay. So I'm going to move that next. Moved it to the other side here and now when I engage this I'm expecting to see less than two ohms. I'm getting about 20. I'll let go here, grab again, see what happens. So I, I'm not happy with this reading so I'm going to go ahead and probably pull the stack out and just clean all the switches since I'm in here. But I want this down to 2 ohms or less, so that might be our problem, maybe not, but definitely don't like that reading. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the switches on this S relay. I'm back and clean this switch. I'm now running my jumper to the score motor, which is the next one I did. Not the wire, but if this is closed, it should, uh, should read this is closed it should have continuity and so if I look at this now press in my relay and that's what I want to see I want to see usually below 2 ohms so I'm pressing the start relay so what I'm doing is I'm checking the switch on the start relay which is now good also I'm checking the switch on motor 3c it's closed and it's uh, going through the contact, so that switch is good. Uh, before I move on to motor switch 1A, I'm just going to test the game before I have to dig to the bottom of that switch. So let me see what happens when I try restarting a game now. I'm back to the game. I got credits on. Uh, we'll see the start relay engage. You'll hear if the scores are resetting if that one goes, but go ahead and give it a try here. So it still did not pull that relay in, so we got to look at switch 1A next. Here at the motor 1A switch, it's actually this back one, and it looked good. I went ahead, cleaned all the switches. I did move this one just out of the way so you could see it, but uh, one thing I discovered, this switch right here is misaligned. If I spin the for reel, it's never opening, so I need to adjust that. Other thing I noticed, if I come over here, this purple white looks like it's literally hanging on by one thread. Uh, go ahead, resolder that, but I'm going to go through the score unit, score motor here. I'm just going to clean all the switches, um, clean up all this gunk on here, uh, make sure all the switches are opening and closing, and go back from there. And then um, hopefully that AB relay is going to work here. If not, we'll dive in a little bit more and see what's going on with it. Got the score motor all cleaned up and adjusted here. Just thought maybe this would be a good chance to go over a few things on score motors. So the way things are labeled, uh, you got stacks 1, 2, 3, 4. The diagonal 1 is stack 3. Opposite of that is 1. The two that are parallel to each other are 2 and 4. So 2's here, you can just kind of count. If this is 3 and this is 1, this one has to be 2, it can't go 4, so you can't go 3, 4, 1, that doesn't make sense. So this is 3, this is 2, this is 1, and this is 4. There's a couple cotter pins you can remove on this, and you can position it upright and kind of get it in service mode here. 
the closest plate, the switches closest to this plate are switch A. Um, I got A over here, but they're buried. Uh, B is in the middle here. You can kind of see it on this side. So I got A down here, which is covered. B, C is at C level or even with the plate. And if you go up, there's a D. And if I had a really tall prong here, which I don't have on this one, it can go up to E. So if I'm looking for switch, motor switch 1A, I find the stack, which is 1, flip it up, and 1A, maybe show this view of it, it's one of these in here, and I can uh, determine by probably uh, wire color which one's the one I need. So right now I'm connected to uh, the first one, or the back one, and that was connected to the start relay, which was also connected to the 3C motor switch. So now I'm going to plug it in and see if our AB relay is firing. But I thought just a good chance to go over score motor if anyone needed the nomenclature on how to determine what's what on it. And I guess one last thing, what I do is you can manually push this by hand. And I'm just going to make sure that every switch is transitioning. So this one I can see really well. If this is open, when I spin it, at some point it's got to close right there. And so if I keep spinning it, it opens. So what I just did when I went through this is I went through and made sure every switch is transitioning. If it's closed and stays closed, something's wrong. And that was, I probably can't get down here, but uh, this bottom one that I adjusted right there. Now it's fine. You can see it. Oh, it's open now and it just closed, closed. And so if you need to do this, just make sure you go through it. Make sure all the switches are opening and closing as you manually spin this. As I said, I'm going to go ahead, plug it back in, and see if our B re AB relay is firing. Came is back on, still not uh, firing AB. Uh, one clue that I just noticed, uh, motor 1A switch is connected to the, if I can focus in here, on the decrement or uh, subtract score, subtract replay unit, I'll get it right. And this just went from two to one. So this is telling me that switch 1A is working. So I need to focus on the other two. And I don't know if I can start another game if it will go down or not. So I can go ahead and try starting a game and see if that will uh, decrement one. And that time scores did reset, so something's just intermittent. It's between those two switches, so what I'll do next is uh, go ahead, just maybe time those two switches just a little bit more and see if that works, but it did fire that time, so uh, it's getting close. Still no luck on this uh, AB relay. It's putting up a, a decent fight here. So what I did now, I just removed my multimeter I got a lead here, and if I touch this red-white over here, uh, this should give power to this coil. And what I noticed is this plate is just really sticking, so I can kind of zoom in here a little bit. See, sorry about that. Kind of watch this plate right here. And again, all I'm doing is I'm touching this. You can hear it here. So watch that plate here. There it went, but watch this time. See, it engaged, but it, it just moved a little bit. There it went. Inch, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and there it goes. So I think what I have is a mechanical issue actually right in here. So I'm going to take this part, clean this up, and make sure it can move freely. That would be the next step. Went ahead and cleaned the plate. Uh, there was some grease on there. Also, these two screws here give you a little bit of play if you need to turn it and adjust it, but I think that was the problem. So what I've done, I put scores up and go ahead, let's put the play field down here a little bit easier. And let's see if that works here. So scores reset, but I heard the score motor go a couple extra turns and it probably shouldn't have. So that might be something to keep an eye on, but uh, we went from 
not working to getting closer at least. So uh, one thing, notice I don't have flippers here. Oh, I need a ball. Now I should have flippers. These were not working earlier. They're still not working. Pop bumpers weren't working. Interesting, that one's working. But the rest aren't. So maybe look for a broken wire here. So everything else looks good. So as I said, it is uh, coming along here. I just wanted to spend a minute and go over the problem I was having. So um, what I have initially is the AB relay is pretty much the same path as the subtract replay unit along with the total play meter. So if I was thinking correctly, if either of those were working, that would show that score motor 1A is working, score motor 2C is working along with this S switch because they all share this these three switches. So when I was troubleshooting this, I should have just saw, did the subtract relay unit uh, subtract one when the game started, and it did. But I don't know if that was due to the things I did with cleaning the S relay and the motor switches. I should have checked that beforehand, but hindsight's 2020 here. And just kind of going through the circuit, uh, what happens? That start relay is going to engage. That's going to start the score motor to spin. And when I hit next here, there's an instance when both of these score motors will uh, close. And that's going to give me um, all these relays, these three relays turning on here. And again, I should have used that to help troubleshoot. So a lot of times this is a great technique to help you to see if something's worked without testing it. Um, if the total play meter would have incremented one, I would have known that these switches were all fine. And then I would have had to maybe check the connection from here to the coil or coil relay and from here maybe to this S switch on the S relay. But I um, just wanted to go through this. Hopefully that clears up any problems with this. I uh, need to go figure out why these three aren't scoring along with the two pop bumpers. That's probably going to be the next thing I'm going to tackle here. Here, this is the one target that was working. If you look right here, I think we have one of the wires that I might be touching. But I'm going to go ahead and solder that. That might be the problem. I don't know. It still looks like it's touching right there, though. But that could be it because it's... Um, Daisy chain. Here's another one with that yellow wire. But that's my first guess. Pop bumpers. I'm not seeing anything obvious. If I hit the the B relay, which should fire it, it's not. So I need to come look at those. They both moved freely here. So I need to investigate that a little bit more. Working on the pop bumper. Uh, this was the problem on those drop targets, so once I soldered this back on, all four now work. So, move to this. I cleaned the B relay, cleaned all the switches. If I pull it in, it is not firing. So, what I'm doing is just jumpering the power side and connecting it to the other side of the power, and it is firing. And I did the same on the pop bumpers. I put them on the red green here along with the white red touched and they're all firing. So I need to figure out where the break is at. I'm looking at the wiring, it all looks intact. So dig a little bit more, but I think this is getting close as long as if B relay is working, two pops are working. It's just a matter of figuring out why they aren't talking to each other. So dig a little bit more here, I'll be right back. Here is just following the orange wires and everything was good. It was connected on the switch here, switch over here, down here and here. And then I thought, oh, where is it going to? And then I noticed it's probably going back to uh, the Jones plug on the back of the machine. So coming to the back of the machine. And this is what I found here on the Jones plug. I don't know if you can see it or not, but 
it is not connected. It is in between the Jones plugs. So this can't be good. So go ahead and put it in the right spot here. Now let's see if that brings back the pop bumpers. And that was the problem. Pop bumpers are back. So I'm going to go ahead, put down the play field, and see what else pops up. But I should be able to play a full game now, see how the flippers work, see if they need rebuilt or not, and maybe the Vera targets. But uh, this game's about done, I would imagine, so it needs cleaned and everything. But uh, troubleshooting-wise, I think it's about done. Pulling back, and on the back side or underneath the play field here, uh, flippers I weren't too happy with. And what I've done on these two is I just removed the coil stop here, put new uh, coil sleeves in, just clean these up and a lot better. Uh, one thing I noticed if I pushed down, had a lot of tension, so ended up uh, moving this spring to a different screw just to reduce it. Um, it's hard to tell, but these I haven't done and then this just really hard to pull down and when it, it just snaps back up. So too much pressure here. I'm going to undo some of the winding on that spring here just to make it so it's not uh, fighting it so much. Other thing I noticed down at the Varia targets, if it's hit all the way back to the highest score, it's having problems reset. So here if I hit this, it's, it's somewhat sluggish. So I'm going to go ahead, clean up the rivets here, uh, work on this a little bit, and hopefully uh, that will fix these two problems here believe that is all the problems just played a game no problems uh, switched out a few light bulbs so what i'm going to do now is just clean it and re-rubber i started pulling a few off the bottom thought i'd better stop here real quick and just update but i'll go ahead clean the play field and re-rubber it uh, put some new wax on and play it and test it out but i think this game is done this one didn't put up much of a fight so glad to see that and i'll be back here with uh finished play field. And with the power of YouTube, the game has been cleaned, waxed, vacuumed, re-rubbered, and looks good. A uh, couple tips here uh, before you put on these, make sure your lights work. And before you put on the plastics here, just make sure all the switches are fine. Uh, sometimes what happens, this rubber is tighter than the one that was there and sometimes can close these switches. So before you put on the acorn caps here, just make sure all those switches are good. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm gonna play a game or two, see if anything pops up, but uh, it's getting closer to done. One last thing here, hopefully, we'll see if anything else pops up, but there's three different ways you can win a free game on this, and I got the card right here. So if the high score is 38,000 or 62,000, you should get a free game. And the other way is if the point score is 29 points or 47 points, uh, you'll get a free game. And then the last way is if you get a match. So three different ways you can uh, play this and get a free game. Uh, my match was working, my point score was not working, and my high score was not working. So uh, let's go ahead, go to the back of the machine here and kind of show you what's going on. So my first initial thought was it wasn't set up right and that was partially correct. So when you're setting this up, zoom in just a little bit. I want to take the plugs here, they all have numbers, and plug them into the corresponding socket. So on the first one, I wanted 29 points. So I'm going to take the two plug and plug that into the ninth position. The black notch here matches up with this pointing post here. So I took the second plug and plugged it into again the ninth position that's going to give me 29 points i did the same thing for 47 so i took the fourth plug and plugged it into the seventh position uh, that did give me a free game then i bounced over to the other section there's actually two jones plugs for this so here i wanted 38,000. it's the same process i'm going to take the 30,000 plug and plug that into the eight thousand socket again the black notch indicates the post up here and so here you can see I have if I can turn a little bit the three 
plug going into the 8 socket, and then the same argument over here. I got the 6 going into the 2 socket down here. So you can see it down here. So third one on the left, and then bounce back up. And third one on the left here. And when I did this, this did not give me a free game. And so what I did is basically trace the wiring. It starts at the play unit down here. You got uh, black, yellow, goes back to what's called the 15th uh, switch, which is here. This just basically says if there's so many credits on the game, it's not going to award anymore. It's going to open up a switch. And then that orange green went all the way to my 10,000th reel over here, which was the common. And if I was doing the first score and trying to get 38,000, that means my three and common are going to connect when the score is shown a three. So this is white slate. I follow this back. Uh, here you see my 30,000 is a white slate wire. That's going to go in this one, which is uh, orange and white. And then if I look at my thousands reel now, I'm going to find that orange white in the seventh position or when the eighth number is shown here. That's going to connect a lot of uh, loops here. Back to the common, which is this yellow black. And then that yellow black is going to come all the way down to my L relay here. And if I turn it on here, you can see it. Let me get that reel out of the way. So yellow black's right here. And my problem was this switch right here on that yellow black needed adjusted. Once I tightened this up a little bit, uh, this switch was closing. And then I got my free score working. So I think everything's working. I'm just going to go ahead, play it once more, vacuum it out, maybe give it another coat of wax. But I believe this game's done. Hopefully I can show... Uh, Maybe a short little review of the game and play it a little bit here. But wanted to go through that problem as that popped up. So keep on trucking here. Hi there. I just wanted to go over some of the rules here and do um, a gameplay of it. So a couple different ways you can get a free game. One is if you score a certain amount of points. This is set up to 38,000 and 62,000. So that's one way. Other way is the point score. That's similar to the football aspect of this game. Uh, that I have it set for 29 and 47. And the last way is match. So going over what we have here, uh, you got some football rules going on. So you start basically on the 0 or 10 yard line, work all the way up. If you get a touchdown, you're going to get 6 points and 6,000 high score points. So 6 points here and then 6,000 points up here. Uh, different way you can also score um, point scores. You got one point stand-up targets. You got four of those. Uh, you got some other shots, as you can see, when lit, you get 50 yards and 500 points, 30 and 300, and so on. And what happens, as I mentioned, you get this all the way up, you get a touchdown, which is worth six points. Um, other aspects of the game, you got a very target, so depending on how hard you hit it, you can get 10 to 50 yards. And on the other side, you can get 1,000 to 5,000 points. Uh, when lit, the out holes are lit for touchdowns. So that would give you another six point score. Uh, pop bumpers light, uh, when lit, as you can read here, are worth 1,000. There's no shot that lights it. It's just on the J relay. So it's going to alternate after you hit so many things. And trying to see anything else. Spinner, uh, you can rip the spinner. You get 10 yards for each turn. So if you get a good shot on the spinner, you can usually get a touchdown on that. But I think that's it. As I mentioned earlier, there is no out hole and shooter lane. So when you want to shoot the ball, uh, press the right button. So a little bit unique on this one. Uh, instructions, you can kind of see what I just read or went through here. And this is how the game's set up, but uh, I think the game's done. Keep playing it a little bit more just to see, but um, this turned out nice. Uh, owner will be happy to get this back up and working. Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to subscribe, ring the bell, uh, let me know you like these videos so I can create more for you. I'll go ahead, play a couple balls here. As I said, if you hit the right flipper, that's going to kick this out. I'm ready to play ball one here, so we'll see how I do. Boy, let's get started. 
So up here on the score, it did give me 6,000 and also six points for a score. See if I can do a little bit better here on ball two. Maybe not. And I have it set for three games, so score adjust a little bit, not a great game. Uh, Just got a touchdown, so yeah, another six points here. So up to 13. to a free game on the touchdown side. And there's a free game. So at least got that going for me. And got another one due to the score. Target here. Keep missing. So much better score. Free game I got at 38,000. So got it here on the high score. Also on the point scores 29. So I got it there. I uh, did not get the match. It was 90 and I had 10. So good last ball on that one. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Thanks.